Hi guys, Mr. Spaceman reporting for duty and welcome. It has been a long time, but we are back to our roots. Mr. Spaceman is once again managing Partisan Beograd. Wow, it has been a while. Last time we did this was an FM21. Yikes, this was ages ago. We managed to not take him to the Champions League finals. We managed to lose two. Oh, I don't remember who. It was such a long time ago. But it was a very nice save. It was a save that lots of people have been asking me to go back to Partizan, and I am back indeed. And I noticed something that's very interesting. One of the coolest things is, sadly, I managed to take over Igor Dulaj's role, which, if my memory serves me correct, I think he was my assistant manager when I took over Partizan a while ago. So, it looks like the student has overtaken the master. But the master has now overtaken the student after three years. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, he's currently doing really well. Partizan are currently first in the league. I mean, depending when you're watching this. This is as of... What what day is it today? Yes, I am recording on 6th of November today, 6 o'clock. Yeah, I had to record this after work, unfortunately. Because who the hell releases a game at 4pm on a Monday and not on the weekend like normal people? Uh, SI, what are you doing? But we are back with Partizan Beograd. And the plan is to finish where we started to take Partizan to the Champions League final. But not only that, our goal is to win all the available European trophies. So that is the Conference League, that is the Europa League, and that is most importantly, the Champions League. So to make it even, even, even better, the plan is to do it in order. So we need to win the Conference League first, then we need to win the Europa League first, and only then are we allowed to challenge for the Champions League. That's going to be a fun little challenge because what's the best way to put it? There will be some thrown games at various parts of this save just so I can either <laughs> drop out of the Champions League or drop out of the Europa League because I need to win the other one first. And the second rule is that we'll have to have at least one 18 hour under Serbian national playing in our squad in the starting lineup every single game. That's going to make it a bit more challenging. But anyway, Serbia is known for making really, really good regens. Last year, we had some very good players. I mean, if you remember Stanic, oh, Stanic was so good. So yeah, hopefully we can get Stanic's brother. I'll be super happy if someone like Stanic comes back to this club. But yeah, there's a lot of excitement there. Let's see what the squad looks like now. But before we do that, I think it's probably better to look at this. We have the logo, which looks absolutely nice. We have the kit, which looks even better. But currently, we are predicted to do second in the league, which currently we're doing first and beating Cervena Zvezda, which we hate them. Remember that? We hate them. Last year, we did really badly. We finished fourth, and I think TSC overtook us, which was weird. It doesn't help that our finances aren't particularly great, and I've been told by a few partisan fans that there's some shenanigans happening. So hopefully, this game, football manager, is not as realistic as, you know... <laughs> real life but yeah hopefully it'll be better we start in the third qualifying round of the european conference league we got knocked out by nordschland i think this year so hopefully we'll do a bit better than that but yeah in terms of facilities we should have a very good start we have a very good stadium almost 30k capacity excellent training facilities excellent youth facilities and exceptional youth recruitment that's i mean we don't really need to do anything really we just need to start the game and start buying players that's pretty much it although we have 1 million budget and 72k Wage budget. That's not much money. Yikers, looking at the squad, I recognize two players from our saves. We have Filipovic, who stayed from the goal days, and we have Markovic, who they actually brought back on a full signing, and they have Kalulu. They have the... Oh my god, they have the FIFA 20-something... Oh, no, FIFA 19 legend himself, Kalulu. Oh my god, his card was incredible. You bought him every transfer window, and he would do some crazy things for you. And we have Vibras Nacho. He's still existing. That's good. But yeah, our expectations for the year. Do not sign players over the age of 32. That kind of makes sense. Uh, this time, we're not limiting ourselves to Serbian signings only. We're going to be doing a bit more than that because I actually want to win the Champions League this year. We'll see what happens. If it gets too easy, we might introduce some more rules down the line to make it more exciting. But, you know, with the two rules that we have right now, I think it's plenty exciting enough. Sign players for domestic rivals. Yeah, we're going to do that anyways. Uh, work within wage budget, go reputation, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that... Kind of makes sense. Oh, look at this. How convenient. Repair the club's financial damage. Oh, no. What could have led to this, Mr. Milos Vazura? I, re I really hope. I really hope it's not his fault. If it is his fault, I am <laughs> in trouble. Yeah, we have to repair the club's financial damage. Should we see how bad it is? I mean, this isn't the worst finances I've ever seen. This says our status is insecure. I mean, but we have 9 million in the budget. Our debts are... 
looking fine net debt is 10 million okay no i so we have 20 million debt remaining so what's the issue i mean it's not that bad i mean i've definitely seen worse but we can definitely work with this this is good i was afraid it was gonna be like barcelona levels like oh yeah we own 1 billion to the bank like how am i gonna do that in serbia i mean looking at the squad right now we don't have a half bad squad i'm afraid to see how red star looks but we have some good players we start with saldana who is I am speechless. This guy's incredible. What What the hell? Where did he play from? He's a star player. Could improve significantly. He's very good. We signed him from a million from Neftici from Azerbaijan. He played in China, he played in Japan, he played in Brazil. This guy's incredible. I mean, he hasn't done... Eh, he's done okay last year, but... Oh my god. He is actually incredible. Oh my god, please tell me he's got now. He doesn't even have any bad cons. I mean, endurance is not the best, but... Consistent, can dribble, very fast, enjoys big matches and balance the normal personality. Oh my god, we're building a squad around him. Um, yeah. I, I, wow. <laughs> I mean, you know this guy, Svitazar Markovic. He was... It's weird. This guy, I think I remember him ages ago. He was like a, the wonder kid. He was going to be the next big thing in Serbia. He was going to be amazing. But, man, he hasn't developed, sadly, as to the levels that we kind of hoped he would. He's currently wanted by... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that, that, could, be, that, that could be a problem. But if they offer me, like, I don't know, 30 million, <laughs> then I'll take it. But... He is very good. I Again, he is going to be the kind of rock that we have for a while. I think I remember last year I was trying to... Well, last year. Three years ago. Like three years ago. It's been such a long time. But yeah, three years ago I tried to sign him over and over again. And eventually I managed to get him from... from Yeah, from Olympiacos on a free. But yeah, very, very good guy. And yeah, he's very important to us. Kalulu, another huge player. His pace is not as high as I thought he would. Oh, he was so good. I remember signing him from Lyon and just destroying defenses with his pace he wasn't very good he was just incredibly fast and you know old fifas were just stupidly fast but he's not bad i mean high pace decent dribbling he'll be a good winger option right footed can play on that left hand side he's probably injury prone not really leading player for the super league wow this guy's this guy's really good of course the main man himself bibras at 35 is still an absolute legend He's been, well, I mean, he's been a legend of CSK Moscow. Probably now the le legend of Partizan, of course. This guy is amazing. He's got great passing, great penalty taking, great technique, great vision. I think he's perfect. As long as he doesn't need to run, he'll be that perfect deep line playmaker slash whatever I decide to do it because I don't know if you've seen my tactics. Sometimes they're weird. Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in such a long time. Samet Bazdar, who, by the way, if I pronounce any of the names wrong, I'm sorry. Can you please correct me? Maybe like write in the comments with the, what's it called? The phonetic alphabet thing. I'll be looking forward to that. But this guy, I remember he was the youth player coming up and I remember he wasn't as good. He was definitely a youth player kind of like being in and out and trying to help us around the squad. And I think his potential this year is a bit better. Last year, he played a lot of games for Partizan, 27 games, four goals. I don't know if he played in, in a kind of more attacking role or maybe he played an attacking midfielder role. I don't know, but he's very, very good. He's got lots of potential. Good dribbling, good finishing, good first touch. Very, very tidy player. Good physicals, most importantly. Actually, very good physicals. Everything over 10. He is quite good. I think, what is he rated? He's rated as good for the Super League, which is nice. And um, yeah, I'll be more than happy to kind of play him in this role. Oh, I'm behind, in behind Saldana. Oh my God, this is going to be a partnership for the ages. We have another good young center back. And I'm probably going to need to wrap up at some point because we have so many players to cover. And I also want to cover the youth players. But Mihaio Ilic, who I don't remember. He definitely would have been in my squad because 2021 is when I played. Maybe he, he didn't impress me, but right now he's definitely impressing me. He is quite good. I think if you compare him to... Markovic. They're not that far apart. He's a squad player. He'll definitely be used in and around the squad. Very, very tidy defender who's currently wanted as well by Ayek and Krasnodar, which means we can hopefully uh, keep them because, you know, not wanted by Saudi Arabia. So that's already good. Oh, yes. And Nemanja Stevanovic. I think he was our number one keeper. He is short. Was it him? I'm going to look at the... Uh, well, I'm actually going to look at my previous video as I'm editing this to see if he was actually... In and around the squad because he's short. Is that a mistake? Was he actually this short? But I remember him being in and around the squad because look, he's definitely he was there. He looks good. He'll be a good backup. Who's our main keeper this year? 
Jovanovic. Okay, Jovanovic is new. He's good. He's tall. Stevanovic, was he really that short? Wow. But yeah, we have a very, very nice looking squad. I will definitely cover some of the other players later as time goes on and introduce them more to you. But now the most important stuff, let's go to the Death Center and see what legends we have, what future legends, may I add, we have in the squad. Oh my god, that's a lot of high potential players. Everyone's high potential. Can I just bring them all to the squad? Oh my god. I have to scroll very far down to finally hit less than three stars that is incredible we have very very good players oh my god it looks even better when i sort by ability these players are awesome oh my god mateja stepanovic how was he not he is much better than no way wait 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 oh my god this guy's good mateja stepanovic now this kid this kid was definitely there and he was a big player for me he's going straight into the first team Move to the Partisan squad. Yes, boys. I'm going to have to sort through all these guys. Look at this. Janko Iremovic, Mihai Petkovic. Oh, my God. Matija Popovic. Man, who? This team is stacked. And who wants him? Yikers. Everyone wants him alone. This team is super duper stacked. We need to kind of figure out what to do. But I was a little bit worried. We might struggle a little bit at the start. But there's no point of worrying because this team is going to be amazing. With the team we have right now, plus some of the youth players, I can get rid of so many players here that are not particularly needed. Like, and that, that being said, we don't have many high-wage players. That being said, Bieber Snacho is in a lot of money. But apart from that, no one really on high wages. This team is... I'm, I'm so excited for this. But yeah, this squad is looking incredible. I'm going to have to spend a lot of time trying to sort through this team and trying to figure out who the good players are, who the bad players are, who to get rid, who to keep. It's going to take a long, long time. So probably with that in mind, I'm just going to go away, do that a little bit on my own, and then I'll come back to you guys when something kind of interesting happens or when I have a more settled squad. Because that way you can start building connections with those players. And also let me kind of... This is a lot. I'm overwhelmed. I... Yeah. This... Oh, man. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. And if you're excited as well, smash that like button because for every like, Matija Stepanovic and all the other Partizan boys will keep reaching their potential of five stars. Wonder kids. And subscribe to the channel as well because hopefully this year we will make Partizan win not only the Champions League, but all the other European leagues that are out there. That's an exciting challenge. Oh my God, I'm going to have to go away and deal with this somehow. So many players. I'll be back in... Well, for you will be a second. For me, it'll be a long, long time. All right, some time has passed and we are ready to play our first game with Partizan in over three years. Man, it's insane. The world looks so different three years ago. I looked so different three years ago. I didn't have a beard. I didn't have a... I don't have a beard yet either way, but it looks nicer and I have a hat. I didn't have a hat back then. Now, I don't know what. Anyway, so stupid. We are playing Novi Pazar today and on this mo monumentous occasion. We are lucky that we're playing a team that, no disrespect to FK Novi Pazar, we should be beating and we should be beating comfortably. So good stuff. We could have gotten some huge team, but no, we got Novi Pazar, even Spartak. I think Spartak would have been a harder game than this. So that's an exciting, exciting occasion. Man, our first game in the Ser Serbian Super League. <sighs> I can't wait. Last time we did the save, we created heroes. We had the Staniches, the Vlahovic. Hopefully by the end of the save, we will have new names to add to my vocabulary of amazing people to remember. Also, by the way, I did figure out, a, well, at least I think I figured out what the issue was with our finances. So it's not that it's not this. Obviously, our overall balance is healthy. And I was wondering what it was. And I think from my understanding, it must be the FFP because we sold a few players and that number has gone up a little bit. So we can now lose, what, 4 million now over, what is it, 36 months? 36 month period yeah so that's what three years which is not particularly a big number and especially considering the fact that we actually had an even smaller number i think it was a million and if you look at it the board is projected to make a loss of one almost one million over this period and we could only lose one you know i could see where the issue was i really hope that is it because well, yeah we can't risk being banned from this competition because we have to win all of them we have to win all three of them yeah it's not really a good tactic to win them if you get banned but I mean, our debts are fine. I've seen worse. 20 million. We can definitely do it over a few years. Oh, and... Oh, I see. Unless it's like... We have to pay 7 million until... Wow. We have to... Wait a minute. This is actually more worrying. So, 
I didn't realize it was this bad. So we have to pay 5 million till 2025. And we have to pay 7 till 2026. And then we have to pay this till 2028. Okay, 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 okay. I can see an issue now. We have to pay 500k a month to make this back. Well, it's good that we managed to sell the players we have, isn't it? Let's start with the ins because that's a very short list. There's no players. Yay! The team is going to look pretty much exactly the same as it did before. But in terms of outs, it is a little bit different. We have sold a whopping 10 players and we managed to raise something like 2.5 million, which is only going to last me five months. Jesus Christ, that's going to last me five months. I think we're actually screwed. Maybe I need to sell more people and not sign anyone else. But let's just basically quickly run through this. We have a player in Sinisa Sanitanich. Oh my God, I'm going to be really bad at these names and I'm sorry, mainly because I can't really speak very well, but he's been playing in Serbia for a very, very long time. He's played with us for two seasons. Not a bad player, honestly. I mean, if you take a look at his stats, he's he's okay. I think if you look at him, he screams backup option and a decent backup option. So no disrespect to him. But the issue is, compare him to Mihailo Ilic, who's 20. Ilic is better. Ilic looks better. He looks better in a lot of the things. Maybe he's not as good as in some of the, well, things at the bottom here. But Ilic looks better. And having Sinisa Sanichan, my God, I'm so bad. And having Sinisa there will probably take away from his game time and he'll complain. And also we have some other youth players coming through who are very, very young. So, you know, again, limiting game time for them is not ideal. And we got, what, 300k? That's going to last us less than a month. So, yay, we're not going to go bankrupt just yet. Or we're going to go bankrupt a month later. Yeah, next player we sold was Nivania Stevanovic. I couldn't figure out if he actually played for us or if he played any games for me in my save. But it freaked me out that he was a very short goalkeeper. He's, he's actually played some games. He hasn't played too many. Many. He's had a season when he was kind of the main goalkeeper and then kind of fell off after that. But for 175, well, 155k, I think that's a fair trade because we have a top keeper in Jovanovic already. So I think it's probably best to sell. Like, as we can see by the finances, it's probably best to sell when we can. Next up, Danilo Pantic for 350k. This kid has been in and around the block. He's one of our own. He is started our academy and I think he's a very, very decent player. There's a point at some point where he came to Chelsea, and I think if you, oh, maybe a few years ago, he was potentially that wonder kitty player, but as you can see, he didn't really develop to, I guess, the highs that he should have been. He's still a decent player. He's quite good. I mean, Bristol wanted him. He's going to be a regular starter in the championship. Yeah, in the championship. So he looks fine. I think decent mentals, decent physicals, very good technicals. But again, we have lots of players, also youth players in this kind of positions. And I think we need to make money and therefore this guy, you know, for 350k, again, that's another month we can go kind of debt free. I mean, Minig is another massive player for us that we managed to get rid of. I think he's a very good player, a very good winger. I think he could have done great things for us and he has done great things for us. Played 63 games, 13 goals. I have no idea how many assists because the game doesn't really track that, unfortunately. I don't know why it doesn't do that. That's weird. Just one less number to deal with. But we sold him for 800k. I think that's a lot of money for what I think he's worth. We even made some money on him in the end. So again, we have players that are very good in this position, in this position, and this position. So he was one of the players that needed to go, I think. And he's freed up the wage budget and he's freed up a lot of money as well. This one is probably going to hit home the hardest, but for 11k a week for a 35-year-old, regardless of the fact that he's a partisan legend he's he's amazing i mean to be fair great passing great technique great vision he would have been that amazing playmaker unfortunately 11k a week and his declining physicals is just not ideal this is not ideal we have to kind of think of the future and he's gonna go back home hopefully enjoy some game time we're gonna remember you this guy's a legend but hopefully we can develop some players of his level and we don't have to pay them 11k, at least not in the next few years. Uh -huh. So this guy is funny because uh, <laughs> I, uh, we, signed, we signed him on a free from a Turkish team this year and um, instantly sold him for 400k. I like that it's an option right now. He's a very good player. I think he was a very good playmaker. We may, we may have an issue this year with, you know, getting rid of a lot of our playmakers early on. That could be an issue. That could bite me in the ass. He's a decent player. Like I said, he looks very, very, very good. But we made 400k on him. And our financial situation means we have to sell. This one I feel a little bit bad because Shekcic, this guy, I remember selling him last time we were here. He was a good player and he still is a good player. He came back to the club this year and I sold him again. I feel bad. He went to Ch the Czech Republic and unfortunately, man, he, he's a good player. Again, good player. And he would have been very useful for his mentals over here but he is 
man, we just need to sell players and for 200k, I think that's kind of worth it. We have lots of youth players in that position anyways. Lo loyalties don't exist when the club's falling apart. I, I don't know how we were in this position, but sadly we are and we need to deal with this so the next two sales they're going to be the ones that are going to determine if i am a shitty manager <laughs> or a good manager because if we struggle to score especially at the start of the season and you'll think well, that's a bit weird i wonder why that's happening this is why because we sold two of our better strikers we sold pavlovich for 400k to agf a very very good player he's played with us last season uh, to be fair, he hasn't scored as many goals. He scored two goals already in 18 games. Last year was awful. So to be fair, maybe that's why he freed up some money. And we have some good players in the starting position. And I, I just... He was going to be one of those players because we're limited to the under-18s. Well, 18s and under-18s players. And we have a very good striker already who's 18 and under. Pavlovich was not going to play much anyways. And he was going to complain a lot. So that's why I thought maybe get rid of him now and, and that way it frees up some of the places for the younger players yeah and also Nikolic I remember this guy I actually remember this guy because I think when I started with Partizan and I think I'm hopefully I'm not confusing my my seasons I think he was the guy playing at Spartak who then came back and he was a very very good option for us but yeah he joined us back from uh, Vojvodne last year he's been going on freeze for a long time but we sold him for 400k to Sweden honestly looking at him he's an amazing player at 30 years old, I mean, decent determination, could have been a great leader for us. But again, this is an extra month we can survive without being in too much trouble. I mean, look at our finances, man. We have 20 months of being in the positive, and that's just assuming we don't spend any money. But if there's any players that you like right now in the real life and that have managed to sell them, do tell me in the comments, do tell me that, let's say, for example, oh, no, you sold Nemanja Nikolic, he's my favorite player, and right now he's scoring 100 goals for Partizan. Tell me, because I want to know. But this is the reality of this club. We are a little bit screwed and we have to think about that. But with the players we have right now, with the youth players we have, hopefully over the few years, we can start selling them. We can start turning our club into a factory. Hopefully not like an Ajax factory that's gonna end up at the bottom of the league in a few years, but something more manageable. They can actually make us money. And hopefully when we get to 2028, we still exist as a club. But yeah, enough of all this. Let's jump straight into the game because I'm really excited to show you the tactic and the players we're going to start with today. All right, and for our first game in the Serbian Super League, this is the lineup we're going to go with. This is the tactic I'm going to hopefully run with for the whole season because it worked wonders for me in the Chelsea save. Go check it out if you want to see how well it did. But it kind of fits us a little bit as well, uh, unless we don't teach Saldana how to play. But we're going to have to tweak things out maybe we can work it out to be a little bit better but this is what we're going with so let me introduce you to the squad for the first game we're going to have Jovanovic in goal who is an amazing amazing goalkeeper I really really rate him I think he's really good and he's tall but yeah I think he's like one of the best players in the league right now we got we got Demedina and Markovic in the back two we have Antic Stojkovic and Filipovic Stojkovic is going to be an interesting one because he's a right back initially but he's not a bad halfback on defend I think if I click on him he's not he's not half bad he can be a good little kind of slot in the center back, decent passing, decent vision. So, I mean, could be better, but unfortunately, where is he? Matej Stovanovic is a little bit injured, but I think he would slot perfectly in that position. He's very, very good, this kid. And hopefully I get to see more of him at some point. He's only played one game for us in a lot of years. Well, that's crazy. In the midfield, we're going to go with Belic, Kanute, and the little ball-winning midfielder. We're going to have Bazdar behind the striker. We're going to have Saldana on the right and Popovic up front. Popovic is interesting because he's, a, he's definitely a massive wonder kid. He looks amazing. He is both Serbian and German. He was born in Germany. Apparently, he's extremely high rated. So there's a chance that he's actually going to play for the German national team, not the Serbian national team. And our bench looks like that. We have a lot of young players kind of in and around the bench, which is good. And we have lots of good players like Kalulu, like Severinia, who can come off the bench and make some changes when need to. Enough talking. I need a drink of water. And what you need to do is be excited for our first game in the Serbian Super League. Oh my god, we're back at the Partizan Stadium. Oh, it's been a long time. It's nice to be back here again. The stadium is not full. We we can hold 30k people here. But unfortunately, not all 30k people came. Is that Lalic? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good player. I think he's old now. And I think he used to play in Italy at some point. Antic does have lots of space in the ball. He does send it to Popovic and... Milojevic steals it and Boganovsky has lots of space to run at because Antic was on the other side of the pitch but he does manage to track back which is kind of good and he does manage to win it back I think the problem is Partizan has a very very good team 
I think for me. And the reason why I'm going on this tangent is because Antic is, I think he's like 25, 26, but we do have a very nice left back who's 22. And that's an issue because he's not 18 and under, which is what the rules that we're setting for ourselves. As Saldana manages to play to Canute, who's going to take a shot. No, he doesn't. And Saldana, that was your chance to show how great you are. And unfortunately, you decided to play rugby instead of football and kick it over that little post thingies. But yeah, so there's a lot of players in that kind of just, you know, young 20s, early 20s who are very, very good. But unfortunately, they don't exactly fit the role that we want them to. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to work. If we're starting to struggle, we might need to change it as Antic does run through and creates nothing. But this squad, I'll be honest, this squad is very, very solid. And a lot of these players are going to generate us huge amounts of money if we play them and give them chances. And it's weird for me to actually be thinking like this because last year, well, last year, because three years ago, I had to keep every single Serbian. But that's just because our finances were great and because we had to keep Serbian players. So yeah, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of a bummer there, isn't it? As we do get the ball, Boganovsky, Kojic. Is there going to be a shot on target there, Milojevic? We're not pressing them as high. Maybe the players are a little bit confused by this because Lalic puts a cross in. Belic does win it. Boganovsky... Plays it out to Kojic, and I think that's nice cross. Stojkovic wins it. I think I'm playing an extended highlight. Saying I, no, or maybe not. And beautiful save by Jovanovic. If I didn't play an extended highlight, you wouldn't see that. But that is a very, very good save by the goalkeeper. And they have a short corner routine, which is a little bit worrying. Although, no, no, they are playing a short. Okay, I was going to say it's taking forever. Nice little one-twos. Novi Pazar is playing quite well. But unfortunately, they did the same thing as we did and missed the target completely. We do have a corner and Antic hopefully will slot a nice one in. We haven't... Popovic? Stojkovic? Markovic? Oh my god. I... I was all over the place there. That is not a halfback goal. I didn't expect the first goal to be scored by a centre-back. But the goalkeeper fluffed it. Popovic, nice little return to Stojkovic. And Markovic puts in a nice shot with his left foot. He's right-footed. Wow. And Antic again, the set-piece merchant, sends it to Popovic. Oh, who doesn't win the header, but he does collect the second ball. What's he going to do? Is he going to be super creative? Filipovic? Kanute? This team is looking quite nice. I mean, granted, Novi Pazar, like I said, is not the best team. But at the same time, this is a strange formation. Is that Suma? <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Where is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not... Is it? Where is he? No way, Suma! Only the OGs will remember this guy. <gasps> he came back and he's playing for Novi Pazar. Oh my god, the return of the legend. He's looking very, very good. Do I sign him back? No, he's a bit too old. Oh, man, this guy used to tear it up for me. Oh, what a legend. I hope we don't have the greatest game today, and I hope we do win, but damn. Some of these names, oh, man, some of these names bring back bring back some good, good, good memories. Oh, my God, as we are playing it out the back, Canute. Canute plays it safely back. I mean, I know he's a ball-winning midfielder, and I know that we're not having much space. As Saldana runs one-on-one, Popovic, beautiful pass. And another slight mishit from our probably the best player in the league, let alone in our team. And it's 16 minutes in, and I swear I have now switched to key highlights, and we're still making lots of chances. Popovic does a little cheeky step over, or more like a cruff turn. Chop? Is that what it's called? Chop, I think. Antic finds Bazdar, who threw a deflection. Finds the back of the net. What a goal. We are playing some beautiful football. And just before I continue with this, I know that potentially there's a little bit of um, bias here. This game looks great. I think I'd, I haven't had the same kind of reaction to an FM game before this. But this game looks great. The passing, the, the graphics look amazing. Because the ball actually feels like the ball feels like it's real, and it moves in such a way, like, especially when you play short passes, it definitely feels like there's a team who's 
trying to do some tiki taka things. And I, to an extent, I don't know how good, I mean, how well the Serbian league is for this kind of football. But right now, it looks beautiful as the ball goes over the top and Jovanovic is fine. He knew he knew he was going out. There's no need to stress there. But the game looks beautiful. We're doing some nice tiki taka there. And it looks very, very nice. As Flora puts a cross in. I don't know why every single corner scares me. But it does. And they do have the ball. They still have the ball. They're going to play it back in. Popovic puts a tackle. Our striker, Popovic. <laughs> Very good. Ball goes over. Suma. No. I mean, I, I can't even be mad. Is he offside? The tiny Seydouba Suma jumps over Jovanovic. But he's offside. I'm not sure if I'm happy or sad for that. Oh, Suma, bro. I hope we shook hands. I hope we're like, bro, you know, like I miss you and stuff. My God. But it's funny. He out jumped. <laughs> he out jumped the keeper with hands, which is funny. Maybe he tried to do a little uh, knock the hat out. Maybe he tried to do a little Maradona hit. I don't know. As Antic once again on the left, he's doing incredible. He's like the Chilwell of Partizan, which probably no one's ever uh, kind of described him like this. But wingbacks on attack work this year. Filipovic, Bedic. Find space. Antic! Antic! I was just singing praises for you. There you go, buddy. There you go. Yes, wingbacks on attack, especially with this tactics, they work. I am making a tactic out of this. I am making a tactical video after this because this just works. Antic! Granted, we are playing against one of the weaker teams, by the way. And, you know, I may be getting ahead of ourselves, but it is 3-0 in the first half, 33 minutes in. 11 goals, well, 11 goals, I was going to say, 11 minutes per goal, 11 goals, imagine 11 goals, but it works, it's 3-0, and I hope you're entertained, because I am for sure entertained, because it doesn't matter, key highlights, extended highlights, full game, we're showing you infinite amount of highlights, because this team deserves it, this team is amazing, I'm amazing, and hopefully this is, won't be the only game we win this season, which will be hilarious, but I do want Saldana to do a little bit better, he's currently... Running all the way back, mate. That way. That that way. Go 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 score. Or that way. Which way is my camera facing? Probably that way. No, wait. I'm not no that way. That way. No, I'm mirrored. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that way. Go that way. Go that way. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. But yeah, as I mean to be fair, I'm I'm I wonder how many people managed to show up. This literally you have a person per row, two people, three people per row, maybe, which is crazy. Saldanya, can you put a nice little cross in? He can't. Bazdar finds lots of space. He almost scores there, and that was his chance. He didn't quite make it for me in the previous save, but, I mean, I think he's going to make for me now. And first half. But as you can see by the XG, it's a very, very good half. All right, it's kind of funny. We managed to make them rethink their formation as Antic is going to stick up. If he's going to score from this free kick, this guy is the best player to have ever played for us. Oh, my God, he was quite close. How is he for you in real life? Is he doing well? I don't know. Unfortunately, they don't show the Serbian Super League. And to be fair, they don't really show many other leagues here. But yeah, which is a shame. I think England does ne definitely need to show more leagues and make it easier for us to watch it. But yeah, that's a very, very, very good game for us so far. 3-0. I think it's time for us to kind of let some of the younger players play. So I think we're going to pl put both our very young players with Uros Filipovic. Uh, who's quite a decent left back. He's just quick. I think he can do everything else apart from that. He can't take penalties though, unfortunately. And we're going to have Uros Chuk, who's making their debuts. It's quite an exciting appearance for us. I think what we're also going to do, I think we're also going to take off Bazdar. I know he's had a good game and I think we're going to put Dusan Jovanovic because yeah, he is a striker, but I think I want to play him in the attacking midfield role because I think he's, he's good at dribbling. Good at, I mean, he's a good striker, a little bit slow, so if I can train him to be a little bit better at passing, I think that's kind of his role for him, just because he's a bit slow. And yeah, I think we're just going to see how that goes for now. How many subs can we do? Five still. Good. Amazing. Can we do anything else? Maybe let's play Illich. I think that's also a good shout. He's quite a good young player. And apart from that, I think that's fine for now. Maybe if nothing happens at the end of the game i might bring kalulu on just for some more pace and also because it'll make me happy kalulu like i said he's a guy who i remember from my fifa times he used to be op i don't know how op he is in football manager but it'll be also nice hopefully he is floro finds himself in lots of space we brought in a lot of youngsters and to be fair they hold out who was that who made the block illich i mean he's good i'm, I'm not surprised he's not 
does he really count as a young player if he's I mean he is young but if he's actually a first team slash squad player I think so he does win a header as well he's just so good in village blocks and two clears and this is a great team I'm so excited I hope I hope these guys actually develop and I hope this is not the best that they can be but this team is looking absolutely incredible we have a free kick who's gonna take it Saldana man you've been playing kind of meh so far like you exist but apart from that ooh, he hits a post unlucky i mean he is a little bit confused as why he's playing on the wing and to be fair i can't blame him he was signed to be the striker but when you have popovich you kind of have to go on the wing <laughs> and like i said we don't have many other players to play and look this is the way it goes sometimes you know sometimes you have a game and it's beautiful in the first half and in the second half you can just chill but yeah man of the match goes to nikola antic which to be fair the amount of times i said his name it's crazy. And Popovich on his debut got 7.7 .7 rating, which is absolutely incredible. This squad was good, and I'm really excited for future games. Look at us with our Mr. Spaceman Siki Taka approach destroying the first team in our first game. And granted, to be fair, they're not the best team in the league. I mean, if you take a look here, they're kind of 10th, which to be fair is not that bad. I thought they would be worse. So not, not the worst in the league. Okay, so to be fair, it's not that bad. That's good. But they're not particularly the best teams. And yeah, whilst we're here, you might as well take a look at the media Dream 11. We have Jovanovic in goal, Filipovic, Markovic, and Saldana. And the other rest of the team is Red from Red Star. That has been unfortunate. But at least we have a keeper who's the best keeper in the league, which is good. When am I going to see you next? I mean, probably the best place to see you guys would be either for the game against Chukarichki or more likely, because I think I'm... Surely I have to win this team, because I'm playing Alashkert or I'm playing Sarevo. Which, if I don't get past this, that's kind of annoying. Uh, what's after? Fourth round. It will be on the 7-8. So maybe I'll see you guys for one of these games. Or if, if that's going to be after it, I'm going to see you for the Chukuric game. But I think it's going to be somewhere here. It's going to be before this. So probably I'm going to see you for those European games. But I hope you liked this first episode. I hope you're excited. We're back with Partizan and building something greater. Just a reminder, we have two rules. Number one, we have to win the three European championships in order of difficulty so we're gonna have to win the conference league first then we're gonna have to keep the europa league second and then we have to go and win the champions league finally that's gonna be a weird weird challenge i don't know why i said it like that i think it's fun oh yeah and also rule two we have to have a starting player who is 18 or under and he's serbian whilst we have matija popovic i think we're gonna be set there i hope you enjoyed this episode smash that like button if you love this hit that subscribe button if you're excited for more partisan saves I'm going to be releasing a tactic at some point, hopefully by the end of this year. And if not, it'll be next year because the way I make videos is dumb. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.